Morning, morning, guys. Morning, morning. Look at this. Yes, we're here. Get some proper work done on the hyper. Shutters are coming up, so I'll get the bike in there. Oh, cheeky little preview there. And uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully, it'll be a good day. All right, the bike is in. We're inside. It's quite a lovely setup here. Oh, Gucci Porsche on the dyno. Got a car dyno over there, and then we've got a bike dyno. It's very rare to see a place that has two dynos. Little dartboard for later, if we get a bit bored. And we've obviously got where well, the magic happened, the dyno. So uh, let's go. Cal, thanks for having me. You're the only boys seem to be messing around and fiddling with these Euro 5 stuff, especially these new decays coming out showroom. What's the sort of plan of action today then? So we'll get it on the dyno, get it run up, see what it's doing, see how it's fueling. Cool. Unfortunately, we've got to take the ECU off on these. So <laughs> side pods off, uh, tank up a little bit, take the ECU out, take a read of it. Chances are we've seen, we've seen quite a lot of these, so chances are we've seen it before. If we haven't, it gets a little bit more involved because we've got to write all the, uh, got to find all the maps. We know, where, we, know, we know what they're going to look like, so it's not going to be a huge issue. Cool. And then we'll, we'll tweak it according to what the dinos told us. Happy days. Let's see what happened, people. <laughs> the base runs 105.56 graph is looking as expected pretty much how it was before so now we've got to get to the ecu take the tank off and everything um, and then cow can work his magic yes another cow two cows don't make a right or wrong that's the ecu look how tiny it is hello we'll get it set up i'll give you a shot all right nice one man. cheers and there once you've done a few it's fairly easy to wiggle out <laughs> without having to uh, take the tank off which, as you know, can be a bit of a pain. Yeah, definitely. So what stage does it get down so you can start using that plug on the back? Yeah. Is that a long way away yet? On the on there? Yeah. So that would be... Uh, do you know what? It probably isn't that far off. In a couple of months, it might take us a year. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. What's the scores on the doors then? Uh, very good actually. Yeah? Uh, we got to 109. 109? But good separation everywhere. Nice. Throughout yeah, that line, range. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's quite parallel all the way up, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and the fueling is absolutely perfect flat line on the 13.2. Right then, part two done. Map is on. I'll get a better picture of that and upload it, but you can see it is almost like a parallel line all the way up. Lovely jubbly. Happy days. Right, all done. Let's see if we can go and have a quick cheeky test ride with uh, that little dirty V4. See what happens. <laughs> you go in Scotland again with your tank bag. Yeah. <laughs> got the V4, got the little brother. Let's see what happens. with the owner that's fucking brilliant bike sounds better much much better it's a bit more raspy and deep oh, yeah, what's that? Jesus, huge flight bumpy yes let's check out a bit of Burnley Ready? I'm assuming this is still Burnley yeah, sensible rider. He's 50 years old, so he's like the probably me in a few years' time. I hope not. <laughs> I'm still a fucking nutter when I'm older. First gear. Fucking hell, first gear wheelie. <laughs> fucking scared to do that again. What the fucking hell? Just done the first ride, quick 
review with Cal on his multi. Mate, the bike is next level. It feels so good, it's so responsive. First gear, wheelies, roll on third, fourth. It just wants to go. It is absolutely great, I'm loving it. I've got to get it on track, man. I've got to get it on track to see what it's like. What a service. Get a remat and the man comes out for a ride with you. Wow. So yeah, test ride done, back, what's the verdict? Wow, absolutely fucking wow. Now remember, right, I've got an NCAN, it's only an NCAN with the baffle. I still have the big dirty decap, okay? Yes, I've got a sprint air filter, okay? So the numbers were 105 before, and then afterwards was 109, okay? So we're not a massive amount of difference, but don't forget, 5% because we're in hundreds is good. But it's up the range, the whole range of the bike, and the way it feels when I'm riding, you know, the way it translates, way i'm riding is the best way i can explain it is when i'm riding at the moment or when i was previously in third fourth fifth gear whatever it felt like as the bike went up the revs i had to change i had to change gear change because it, it felt like it ran out of guts or it ran out of steam so i was up and down the box third fourth fifth up and down up and down it's a bit annoying it felt like you know, the bike had a bit more to give whereas now literally it's going up to I mean, third or fourth, he's going up to seven, eight, nine thousand res, and the bike's still pulling. It's not running out of juice. And I've just come back on that ride now. I literally did the stretch road in third and fourth, and I was fucking loving it, mate. Absolutely loving it. I can't believe it. I can't wait to get this on track now, man. It's going to be a fucking beast. Yes. Let's go.